What's going on everybody? This morning for some reason I was laying in bed and I was overcome with joy in the fact that I am a homosexual. <laughs> I started thinking like, what would life be like if I was straight? And for some reason the picture was like me in cargo shorts and at some like sporting event, like a tailgate in a Walmart parking lot with children and beer. And not that you're not allowed to like those things if you're gay, but it just seemed like a terrible picture to me. And I was like, well, if those are the things that straight Andrew would do, what are the things that made me gay? What makes me gay? Like, what, what did I do that made me realize that I'm gay? And so I made a little list of things that I've done in my life, especially early on in life, that kind of like pointed some fingers at the fact that, hey, you're probably homosexual. <laughs> Look back on these things and they're so embarrassing, some of them, but I still love them so much. Aside from the fact that my parents say, oh, we knew just by your personality and some of the things that you asked for when you were really young that were very flashy. I wanted like a hat that had presents dangling from it that I could wear everywhere and just stupid things like that. I've talked about it before in my coming out story, but those Calvin Klein ads from like the late 90s, I mean, come on. Young gay me was looking at those like underwear and speedos and briefs and boxer briefs. And I remember thinking, I need those underwear. I didn't think about the men in the underwear, but I was like, if I get those underwear, I'm gonna be as cool and as confident as those guys are. But really, I just wanted the men. <laughs> What else? Something else I remember is like, I would go on family vacations and like my sister would have like these boys that were like teenagers. My sister was a few years older than me that would like hang around her. And I remember being super jealous that like she was getting to hang out with these boys. They had like braces and you know, they were so young. They had like the pink all in their cheeks and they're like, okay, so this must've been like nineties, late nineties, early two thousands haircuts with their super long. Uh, swim shorts, and I just remember being like, dang, she's so lucky she's got so many friends, but really, I was jealous about other things. <laughs> when I was starting to have girlfriends and I would like start to make moves on them, I had my first kiss with a girl in Santa Claus 2 in the movies. And I remember like while like we were kissing, I would picture like my guy friends that were in my class or some of the cuter boys that were in my class and think like, this is what they're doing. They're doing this with girls, so like I'm like them. But really it was like, I wish this was with them. <laughs> poor Santa Claus too, I didn't even pay attention. Oh, and my poor father. I am so sorry, Dad, if you end up watching this. Please actually don't watch this, turn this off. One, one day my computer stopped working and like I was just having a really hard time even loading any like anything on my computer and I was just riddled with viruses. <laughs> and I had to have my dad come in and help me with it and he starts looking through some stuff and he's like showing me some of these viruses and this, there's just, this page pops up and he's like, Andrew, you know, you shouldn't be looking at this stuff. And I look and it's just like, Boys in socks. <laughs> for some reason, that's what I remember. Just like I had been searching for a lot of, for purchasing boys socks. Oh, my poor dad. And I wasn't out like at this point. So my dad obviously knew from this point on that something was up, but like, geez. Boys in socks. <laughs> Cause I used to play a lot of video games when I started playing like RuneScape. And this was in like 2001. So I was 11, I was 11 years old. I would, I made a girl avatar character in RuneScape. So, I mean, not because I, I, I just thought it was cool. I don't know. I wanted a girl character and I just remember seeing something. I just wanted to be a girl. I don't know why I wanted to be a girl character, <laughs> but I made this girl character and uh, I found that I was getting hit on by a lot of boys in the game. And most of them would be like, Hey, are you actually a girl? And I'd be like, no. But then one time, this boy started messaging me and he didn't say, are you a girl? Or are you not a girl? He just kept talking to me and telling me that, you know, I was his, he wanted me to be his in-game girlfriend. And, uh, he like got me a little ring, like in the game, like a magic ring or something like that. And like, we had like a, a fake wedding ceremony and would like kiss in the game. And like, I never, I never had the heart to tell him that I was actually a boy, but the entire time I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, I had no idea either that I was like catfishing this person online as a straight kid to another boy. I just like, it was nothing went through my mind. But now when I look back at it, I was like, wow, you were super gay even before you realized how gay you were. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. We like, I would log on, he would message me like, hey babe, what's up? And I'd be like, hey cutie, like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my gosh. Also, uh, I mean, not 
necessarily, but a lot of us gay men like to make our video game characters women for some reason. I've actually changed and now I don't make the my characters women, I make them like super like sexy men and I'm like, all right, well this is what I look at the whole time. So equally gay. I don't know which side is more gay, making my girl, my character a girl or making my character like a super studly ripped man that I'm just gonna stare at the entire time I play. I had this camp counselor and uh, cause I was in Boy Scout camp and I loved Boy Scout camp, it was so much fun. Uh, and well, obviously why? <laughs> because I uh, I had this uh, camp counselor that was, I mean, gorgeous. He was so beautiful. He was probably like 18 or 19 years old too. So like for me, he was like this like grown guy and uh, he was just like so dreamy and he taught our like distance swimming class. It was like an early morning thing. You have to get there and you like swim a lot. And I looked forward to getting in there like weirdly, I had like, I have like weird memories about like changing in the locker room and like getting ready so that I could go and like warm up, talk with them and have an opportunity to be there early so that I could like hang out with them. And I hated swimming. I hated doing that. But I would do it to do my warm up laps because he was just this charming man and like I had no idea. Like I, I kept I kept going back and be like, why did I keep doing this morning swim? And then it was because of this camp counselor. <laughs> It's funny is I still probably do a lot of these things subconsciously for the handsome men in my life. All right, well, what are some of the things that you guys recognize early on that indicate that you are you are a flaming homosexual like me? I love these things about myself. Like I think that they're quirky and like fun and I'm not embarrassed that I was sexually attracted to men at an early age. Like it doesn't matter. You just like, it's like I instinctually knew that something was going on. Yeah, my parents send me this photo of myself all the time where I'm like smiling with my hands up like this and they're like, I mean, we knew that. Or when I was a kid, I would sit in the soccer field um, and instead of play the sports, I would pick flowers with one of the girls in my class. And this is when I was like five. Instead of me wanting to go play the sports, I just wanted to pick the flowers, which is super applicable today because like I have so many plants. <laughs> Let me know some of those things. I hope you guys are staying safe. Um, be sure you like the video. Be sure you subscribe if you don't already and hit the little bell, hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I do new videos since mine are kind of inconsistent. Um, if you want to come hang out and chat, um, a great place to chat with me is on my Twitch. Um, you don't have to play games or whatever. Just come in, hang out, we chat about stuff. Um, all right. I'll see you guys soon. Um, talk to you later. And remember, never stop learning. <laughs> Thanks, guys.